Hello and welcome to Course Selection 2019-2020. My name is Mrs. Baker. Over the next couple of minutes, I will be covering current graduation requirements, credits needed for each grade level, and provide you with some tips on making the most of the course selection process. Let me begin by reviewing the grade level principal and counselor assignments for next school year. The ninth grade principal will be Mr. Bankovic, and the ninth grade counselor will be Mrs. Ludwig. Mr. Newcomb will be the 10th grade principal and Mrs. Baker the 10th grade counselor. Mr. Schrader will serve as the 11th grade principal and Mrs. Bell will be the 11th grade counselor. Ms. Herb will be the 12th grade principal and Mrs. Stowe and Ms. Nebel will serve as the 12th grade counselors. Next, I will review graduation requirements for the class of 2020. Students will need to earn 23.5 credits in order to meet Central Dolphin High School graduation requirements. Course credits must be earned in the following disciplines. Four credits in English, four credits in math, three credits in science, one of which must be biology. Student mu students must also earn three credits in social studies. The required courses are U.S. History II, American Government, and World Cultures, or their AP counterparts, AP U.S. History, AP Government, and AP World History. They must also earn one credit of Arts and Humanities, six credits of electives, two credits in PE, and a half credit in Health. Students may also be required to pass certain Keystone exams pending legislative changes in the Pennsylvania State High School graduation requirements. Parents, guardians, and students are encouraged to discuss the course selection options while considering the student's current grades and classes, post high school education, and future career plans. Sometimes it's easier to plan for the future by actually working backwards. By that I mean the student might consider what level of coursework he or she would like to achieve by senior year. If the goal is to reach AP Calculus and the student is currently taking Algebra 1 as a freshman, it will require that he or she take both CP Geometry and Honors Algebra 2 during sophomore year, Honors Trig Pre Calculus during junior year, and then AP Calculus during his or her senior year. If a student is seeking to apply for a competitive college or university, knowing the types of courses and credit requirements needed for admission will help in the overall course selection process and planning. Students should remember that teachers are a great resource for helping them determine their best course placement. Counselors will therefore be asking all students to obtain their teacher's initials on their course selection form next to any course subject selection as well as next to any level two or higher course. Students in grade nine next year will need to select a minimum of 6.5 credits. Students in grade 10 will select seven credits which includes a health class. Students in grade 11 will select seven credits, which includes financial literacy. And finally, students in 12th grade will need to select 6.5 credits. Student athletes who hope to play a sport at a Division I or Division II college or university should pay particular attention to courses in bold on their course selection sheet. Courses in bold type are NCAA approved. Student athletes may want to review the NCAA core requirements at www.ncaa.org forward slash student hyphen athletes forward slash future forward slash how hyphen register. It is important to note that students must also achieve a certain grade point average and SAT or ACT score to meet eligibility requirements. Please remember that not all courses are NCAA approved courses. Students who are receiving special education or EOL services should speak with the respective designated case manager or primary teacher to determine the best sequence of courses based on the student's individual ability, needs, and goals. Counselors will be going into the English classrooms during the week of February 25th to distribute course selection forms, review course selection offerings, and to answer any questions students might have about course offerings or the course selection process. We offer an extensive array of electives and AP courses at Central Dolphin. We also offer opportunities for college and the high school coursework through the University of Pittsburgh, hack dual admission, co-op, and work experience. 
Some of these opportunities depend upon the student's ability and or grade level as well as other factors. Interested students may inquire about these options anytime during the course selection process. Students will be returning their signed and completed course selection sheets to their English teacher by no later than March 8th. A parent or guardian should review the course selection sheet to ensure that the proper number of credits for their child's grade level are scheduled as well as to ensure that all core teachers have initialed the form. Once reviewed, a parent or guardian should sign at the top of the course selection page. Students will then return the form to their English teacher on March 8th. I hope you have found this information to be helpful. Please feel free to review course descriptions, grade level promotion by credit, and course sequencing in the Academic Planning Guide, which you can find under the Guidance section of the Central Dolphin High School website. If you still have questions after consulting the Academic Planning Guide, please contact the student's grade level counselor. Thank you.